Um, anyone who wants to share, you can jump in. <laughs> Let's start. I'll go first. Roberto, so go glad, to, so glad to see you. Uh, making this great decision. Mm -hmm. I remember when you first came, I challenged you on ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> challenge you on your sports teams. Yes, you do. But now I can call you my brother, mm -hmm. and I'm so thankful that you um, continued on. Even after I challenged you on your bad sports team and your <laughs> choice of favorite ice cream place, I was like, well, let me just see if he's going to stay and just challenge him. <laughs> that way he won't have no hard feelings and for anybody I know. <laughs> but I'm glad you make a decision to continue on yes. and have your spiritual walk with us. Yes. Thank you, Sean. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. I think you know, Amen. So, yeah, anyone feel free? We're going to open up for sharing, but. Y'all know I, I tend to like not just share from experience, but also share words of wisdom from your journey in Christ mm -hmm. um, and just hot points that can help him in his journey as he's starting this off and continuing on this path. So definitely open for us. I share scripture. How's that? That's a good one. You know, the Bible. Uh, let's see. Okay. So uh, I'm going to share from Isaiah 40. And when I think of Roberto, I think of two things, but I just think of his love for God, how his love for God was started by his mom at a very young age. Mm -hmm. And she just fostered love for Jesus in his heart. And to me, as a parent of, you know, children that love God, it's really something that's so important to just get them in there really young yeah. <laughs> and have them love God. Um, so uh, this is in Isaiah 40. It says, do you not know? Have you not heard? Has it not been told to you from the beginning? Have you not understood since the earth was founded? He sits enthroned above the circle of the earth and the people are like, oh wait, I want to go further down because it's a long scripture. Mm -hmm. Why do you complain, Jacob? Why do you say, Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord? My cause Ooh. is disregarded by my God. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, and they will run and not go weary. They will walk and not be fat. I'm retired. This man's retired. Oh, <laughs> we are soaring like he. Hey! <laughs> God has given us strength that we that most people don't get to have at yeah. our age because yeah. we love God and God loves us. Amen. And we can do all, anything if we ask God. We can Amen. do anything. Amen. And Amen. so that's what my charge is to you. Let's do anything. Let's do it. Let's, let's Amen. Amen. in the ministry together Amen. and be be the men that we are. God designed us to be. It's okay, Luke. And the only other thing I want to share, I'm sharing two scriptures. I'm going to share um, Psalm 40, uh, Psalm 103, I think it is. I'm sorry. I'm not prepared. I should be. Uh, okay. So God knit us in, in as a, knit us from the birth to follow him and put his word in us. Um, and the one thing that he talks about is the fact that I can't find it. The East is as far from the West when it comes to our understanding of his will for our lives. Mm -hmm. We can't really fathom his will. But we know that there's something there we need to do. God's strength and his power are made evident through us. And because we have that power, we can do anything. I'm just so convinced of that. And I know that you're going to, you've been doing it all your life. Now you're just going to do it even more. Mm -hmm. And I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for you. Thank you, Mark. I'm Thank so you. happy. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Love you. Roberto, you have a, a joy that is evident, like every time we interact. Um, <laughs> I, I have been delighted to see you whenever we're at church or wherever I've seen you because of the joy you bring to things and the, the faith that you have. Uh, and so I am, 
I'm just really grateful for the time I've gotten to know you. <laughs> it's not been very long, but it's been so encouraging because you, you share your joy for God with people around you. Wow. And that is really inspiring. For me. Yeah. So, Thank you, Jonathan. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. I'll share. Um, Roberto, um, <laughs> you know, like Jonathan is saying, um, I'm encouraged by your humility. Mm. Uh, it's something that I observed in you and, um, I could tell that God really loves you yeah. and that um, you are blessed mm -hmm. and your family's blessed and we are blessed to yeah. have a brother here. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to give the glory to God mm -hmm. and I'm grateful to have you, brother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know when I met Roberto and I met him, I mean, we had um, a Sunday service actually, and we exchanged a few words. We had some things in common and we hooked up and we talking on that and he invited me to his studies. And I remember Roberto was the person that he kind of filled in. He, he's from HR. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he, he's a man that a structure. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, he's a, a facts, you know, checker. He wants to confirm the facts. <laughs> you know, he wants to know the ins and outs of, of a situation before he commits and knows. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, okay. And there was one time in the study that, you know, he came and he had some things he went on low with us. And he did it. <laughs> And he's like, wait a minute, but you know, I'll write your mission statement. And he's like, uh, and, and and he goes, and how, you know, how, how we go about like membership here and so forth. And and basically, I think that I share with him, I feel like, well, we just kind of you ask questions, and every time you ask questions, we just need to study with him, you know, and show him the, the word of God. Amen. And then and then and because he feels like he needs to have a structure to be in control. Mm. And, and 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 what I realized was that. Yes, you know, God used your mom, you know, she put the faith in your heart. And and I see that, you know, like God has been leading you mm. in this journey. You know what I mean? Yes. And, and and you've been looking for God. And and God walked with you, brother, mm -hmm. to yeah. bring you to where you are today. Yes. And for me, I'm like, it's just a faithfulness of God. Like yeah. there's no question in my mind that you were chosen. Mm. And <clears throat> And 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 I, and I thank you that you entrusted me with some stuff, brother. You know yes. what I'm saying? Um, but to really to see where you're at today, the way how the way I look at the story is that God was really pursuing you. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and even though in your job, your HR, you your job was to reconcile people. Yes. Wow. Yeah, yeah. God was doing that with you. Mm -hmm. yes. You know what I mean? And but the one thing that it was like. And, and I don't know, I had this vision of Roberto coming in as like a, you shared one of your brothers a, a lawyer, but he's, he's like, I, I don't know, I had this vision of you come in, dress up in a suit with a, case, with a briefcase, and here you are, you know, every time we got to study, yeah, Q's and A's. <laughs> <laughs> so like, you know, let's check last. And I'm like, okay, man, you know what I mean? And, and But you <laughs> called us higher. Wow. Yeah. You know what I mean? You called us higher, man. And we were like, yeah, you're right. And we didn't want to like downplay anything. We had to go back and make sure we look at the scriptures and share that with you. And I'm, so I'm encouraged by your faith. You know what I mean? You being, you know, like um, being a Berean, yep. putting the scriptures yeah, out, yeah. being 100%. diligent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You saw stuff. You raised concern. You went after it, bro. You mm -hmm. seek the vice. Yeah. I saw repentance in you, my brother. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And for me, that was like, it, it was a bliss moment for me, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With that being said, I would like to share a scripture with you that I think really encapsulate um, this whole journey I mean, we'll wait for you after the word of baptism. And it's in um, 2 Corinthians verse 5, um, 17 to 21. It says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, a new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. All things is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us a ministry of reconciliation, that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people sin against them mm. and he has committed to us the message of reconciliation we are therefore christ ambassadors as though god was making his appeal through us we applaud you on christ's behalf be reconciled to god god made him who was no sin to be sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of god Amen. i you, love sir. you my brother it's been a pleasure and I would love to continue to build with you and just see the very things that God's going to do in your life and through your family. Mm -hmm.
First of all, hearing that you you wanted to be baptized here is enough to make me want to cry. But um, I'm I'm thinking about the first time we saw you at church, and my husband and I talked about this when we got home. Just like joy, and that's what I think of when I think of you. Just you exude joy, mm-hmm. and. Um, yep. You know, in the 90s, we had this saying in the church that uh, joy meant Jesus, others, and then you. Mm. And I think you exemplify that to me, that um, when I watch you praise God, when you're, you know, I've watched you Mm. sing. (laughs) You sing so Mm -hmm. joyfully. Yeah, that's right. Um, When you... Uh, fellowship with others you do it so joyfully and uh you know i and your family is here and i love seeing the picture i'm guessing that's your mom i came in late yes um you it's it's evident that your family loves you and that you take care of them so you're Mm. you're so much about jesus and others and then yourself wow and uh and you know for me i learned that that is true joy seeking wow. seeking jesus seeking seeking god first mm-hmm. taking care of others mm-hmm. and it and it leads to true true joy for yourself wow. um i was looking for a scripture that kind of encapsulated you in this moment and i found psalm 28 verse 7 and this is this is how i i picture you with god i trust him with all my heart, he helps me and my heart is filled with joy. Mm. I burst out in songs of thanksgiving. Yeah. I just I just see you as such a blessing to our fellowship. Um, I can't wait to see how God uses you mm. to bless, continue to bless your family, mm. to bless your community, to bless the church with your joy, your Amen. pure joy. Amen. That was beautiful. Thank you, Um I would like to share. Says mm. uh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. um, Anyway, the first time I heard about Roberto it was from the foyer. He was like, hey, I met somebody that I think is a cool guy. I want you to meet him. So then I, I wasn't there the first time we came out. So then the following week I came and I was looking for you. For some reason I didn't see you. I was like, oh, Koya, you scared him away. I was like, that's because he met you. Uh, like, no, nah, I don't think so. I said, yeah, I think he, he met you. And he's like, no more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So um, that's what I want to share. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank and I'm just so proud of you saying yes to the calling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Right. You are literally saying yes to your purpose. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we talked about our skills and talents. Mm-hmm. And this is the time where you get to present and be and show the calling mm-hmm. of who you are, not only for yourself, but for the rest of your family. And this is just the beginning. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm so um, grateful. I appreciate you being part of the family, mm-hmm. and here's for the future, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can share. <laughs> Why are y'all looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> man, Roberto. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna share from two perspectives: one as the pastor, then the other as as Paris, right? Because because it's literally two different like interactions like uh it is a good thing all right so okay you know we uh i remember i, I heard about him but everybody said they heard about him too you know what i mean like everybody, you know i for some reason i missed church twice i don't know what was happening don't judge me all right but <laughs> but he came the first two times and was like yeah 
Did you come through the back door, Justin? <laughs> 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 All right. That was interesting. Um, <laughs> it's always something. <laughs> so, you know, but I was hearing like, man, this, this guy, he came out, he found it. He found the church online. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Found it online. He showed up and just mm -hmm. engaging with everybody. I'm like, huh? Everyone knows this man. He's only been to church twice. You know, there's the people who've been visiting forever, and the people are like, what's your name? You know what I mean? Everyone knows Roberto. Like, I'm like, wow, okay. So, and literally, I remember, I think I was away, and my wife went to, she was at service, and she said, yeah, you got to meet this guy. You're going to like him. And, man, you are awesome. You are awesome. And, you know, I remember we, we, got, we got some time. We sat down and got lunch, and you were sharing me like Paris, I gotta share with you some things that I've been seeing. <laughs> Brother came like a detective. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I got some notes, I got some things I want to talk about. You know, I've been, been around for a while. And here's my observations. You know, and I was like, well go ahead. I'm eating my French toast and you know, you know <laughs> and he's he's sharing the stuff and I'm like this is this is great. This is good stuff. You know and he shared about a conflict that he had. And this was huge for me because then my ears kind of perked up because I'm like, oh, conflict, nice. All right, let's see, <laughs> let's see. Yeah, I mean, and, and he he was like, knowing your background with HR, knowing your background with, with DEI and all these different things, like there's a way that we, we learn to deal with human interactions in the world mm -hmm. that is drastically different in the church. And it's so easy when you have conflict with someone to simply be, this is why I don't like church. This is why I don't like people. I can't stand this. I'm out. You know what I mean? And your response, unprompted, you were like, I need to go reach out. I need to go talk to that brother. I need to go. We got to We got to make this work. Because because he's going to be my brother in Christ. Look, that was going to be my brother. I'm like, okay. All right. And so I was like, well, amen. Let's hear how that goes. <laughs> and multiple times throughout his studies, having that level of like, I want to make sure I'm right, we're right. Mm -hmm. That's the ultimate form of love. Mm -hmm. You were doing that without the power of the Holy Spirit indwelling in you. That's right. about to happen right now. Right, right. Remember, mm -hmm. yep. And so I'm like, if you were doing that minus that, Lord have mercy. <laughs> You know what I mean? When you get that power. Because that's a game changer. And it's, it's, it's an overflow of a heart that understands, I need to do what I need to do to get right, and I need to make sure my brothers are right as well. And so your level of vulnerability, transparency, being honest of what I feel, what you see, but then grounding it, not like an emotionalism, I'm going to just explode and flip out on everybody, but like, this is, this is about being right. I respect that. Now, as Paris, <laughs> as just Paris, it's just good to have, you know, I, I always feel like if I want to, I, I want people to feel the love that I feel God has given me. And I, I always try to present myself as engaging people. I give people my attention. I just love people. You know, I'll come in. The joke is when I walk in the room, everyone hears me. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> And I get, because I just love people. You love people. Like you love people. And you're not scared to show it. And it was funny because when I got to meet you, I think I was going through my own difficult stuff in my mind with things. And to run into someone who had joy and was like, I, I want to, I want to give this joy to you. Saw you, I saw you online. I saw y'all, you and your wife's picture. I was like, I want to go. And I was like, thank you. You know, I'm already, I'm having my insecurities. I'm not getting good at this stuff. I don't know, church building. Ah, you know, like, but just your, and even just your words of encouragement, support. I thank you. You know what I mean? For being willing to be like, let's, let's, be friend. And then, you know, now if I got someone else I'll channel the Knicks. So whenever I send to the Knicks in public, Ooh. I got no disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
know, brother, I love you. As at that time with you and your wife, I was like, yo, we got we got some Bronxites in the house. You know what I mean? Like, we ain't alone anymore. So I really appreciate you. I appreciate both of you. And so we're thankful to have you as a brother in Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Give me a hug. Give me some hugs. Hug it up. <laughs> hug it up. Hey, bro, that was beautiful, man. Oh, I missed it. Oh, oh God. No, not doing this, Koya. Thank <laughs> oh, God. Johnny Rivera wants to talk. Um, I think it just goes with what Paris was sharing. Um, the scripture is Romans 12. And um, starting in nine, it says from the NLT, don't just pretend to love others, really love them. Hate what is wrong, hold tightly to what is good. Love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. So... I just think it was perfect with what Paris just shared. And um, I think sometimes it's easy, right? Because we're from the Bronx, from New York. It's like, yeah, we real. <laughs> no, no face. We're going to give it. Why, why are you making the face, though? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to sh share that there is definitely God exuding out in terms of just who he created you to be. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm just really encouraged. Like, I love our date night that we had. Mm. That was one of my favorite date nights. Mm -hmm. Like, oh. even afterwards, I'm talking to Paris. I was like, wow, that felt good. <laughs> you know, because sometimes... It's not necessarily what I was going to say, but sometimes some relationships just flow and others, you know, it's just a little harder than others. But I just want to say thank you for that time. And I really just pray and I'm just looking forward to all that God will do. Mm -hmm. And even in our friendship and even just in the ministry as a whole. Because I think you're you're a gem, and Chris, getting to know you, I feel like you're a gem as mm -hmm. well, and I want to get to know you more. Mm -hmm. And just hearing about your life, your story, mm -hmm. I just want to know more, and just even connect with this beautiful family that you guys talk so much about. And I feel like that's legacy, yes. right? Like these are seeds, mm -hmm. and even listening to the video of your mom share, I'm like. This is what we talk about. There's no mm. prayer that is like in vain. Mm. It's just, we don't, oh, we may not be here to see it, yeah. but there's legacy that lives on. So yes. I'm just grateful to have this time come. And I'm looking forward to just connecting with you guys more and getting to know you more. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Yo, yo, yo. Yes. Oh, here we oh. go. Oh. Can, can we, we do one let's get online some, get real some quickly? Zoom. You, look at this, yo. Let me get some, get some Zoom. That sounded like Kenny. Yo, yo, Zoom. yo it's Charles, y'all. Oh, Charles. Okay. Can we raise it up? Hey, <laughs> let's go Jets. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Yo, what's up, Roberto? You hear me? Yep. Yes. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Hey, man. I just want to say, you know, greetings from Boston at a hotel in Boston. Me and my wife, were going to Japan tomorrow. So, um... But I could not miss this. When we got the text, I was like, yo, I got to get on. This. I got to get on this call. So, um, bro, I just want to say um, I'm really, really happy for you. Um, I remember the first time we met, you know, we connected right away. Um, well, one, because you, you're you just super friendly, man, and just joyful and extremely approachable. And to be honest, man, I thought you were just visiting from maybe one of our other churches that we had or something like that. I don't know. But when I got to know you, though, uh, right away, man, we just connected. We had a genuine conversation. And, and of course, we talked about our sports teams, man. You know, we've been we've been Jets fans for a long time. And I think the faithfulness that we've given to the Jets is, is really going to be a reflection of what our walk with God is going to look like, too. You know what I'm saying? Because, <laughs> you know, it's going to be those ups and downs. It's going to be all that stuff, man. But I, I just want to say, man, I'm really excited 
uh, for you. And I know you've already been on a journey for a long time, man, but um, the things that you're, that, that God is, is going to be doing from here on out, man, is going to be incredible. Um, and I think um, God is just not, he's not done, you know, he's going to do some great things in your life. And um, I, I think one of the scriptures I want to share uh, that I think really always inspires me. And I wanted to share this with you. And I think this is going to be a scripture that is always going to be great to remember um, no matter what on your journey, you know, um, and you might've, you might already know his passage, but in Matthew three, verse 16 to 17, it says, as soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. And at that moment, heaven was open. And he saw the spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, this is my son whom I love. And with him, I am well pleased. And I want you to know, Roberto, like tonight, God is going to, is going to, the, the fact that God takes this time out of baptism, it says that the heavens were open. Where in scripture, anywhere else in scripture, where in this type of moment, heaven opened up. Like God went that far to do that in this moment, right? And to affirm one of the most important things that we're going to need in our walk, no matter what. And, and especially for, for us men specifically, is the fact that we need to always be reminded that we're a son to God. Mm -hmm. And it's not about... We don't get our identity from a role. We don't get our identity from how well or perfect we do things. Like we will always be God's son in his eyes, you know? And I think no matter what up or down you go through in life, man, this is going to be an affirmation that is always going to give you the strength, man, no matter what. And and I always want to be a brother there to, to share that with you, to, to enjoy that with you. And I know for sure, man, that, that God is also so pleased with you, you know? And... He's proud of you, man, just for your whole journey and where you are up until this point. And so I want to encourage you with that. And I want to say I'm really proud of you. I cannot wait to to see you again uh, when we get back. But I also can't wait to go watch some Jets football in person. We're going through some games this year, okay? We're yes, going sir. through some games. We're sitting in yes. section 100, baby. Yes. So, let's go. So, um, but I'm really excited, man. Are we going to Japan? Yeah. 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 We're going to Japan uh, tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, love you a ton, man. And uh, so excited for you. Thank you, Charles. Hug. Hello. 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 Johnny is up. Who? Uh, should we? Okay, I could go from here. Uh, Roberto, can you hear me? Yes. Hey, it's so good to oh, um first first of all, Matt, I really wanted He's to be there. Is Johnny. <laughs> What's that? That's fine, Jay. Go ahead. I, I'm sorry, I can't hear everything, but yeah, I, I just I really wanted to be there. Um unfortunately I couldn't make it down. I'm grateful that you guys are doing the Zoom. Um but uh, Roberto, man, uh, just a really special. I'm just listening to all the sharing. Um, uh, I want to read this passage to you and, and just share uh, a thought with you. Um, it's in Philippians 1. It's, uh, it says, I thank my God every time I remember you. And all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. And um, I, I, I wanted to read this passage to you because literally um, when I think about you, I think about joy. It's so funny. Everyone's kind of saying the same thing. Um, you know, I met you once at the at the service, and then uh, we went to the Nick game together uh, on my birthday. And that's probably, I was telling Paris this, probably the best birthday that I've had since I can remember. I, I, I don't know if I had a better birthday than that day. Oh, wow. um, going to the Nick game, uh, watching them win, but but the car ride, going there <laughs> and coming back and you know me and Paris could be a lot 
especially when we're together and we're joking <laughs> around. But man, you like you were in. Like it was just like <laughs> you've been with us your whole life. Like we didn't overwhelm you. In fact, you were you were engaged just as much as we were. And um and I remember coming back home with Caesar, and he was like, Man. That Roberto is special, man. We had so much fun. And he had just met you for the first time that night. And um, I'll, I'll always remember that day, uh, you know, being my birthday, but getting to spend that day, um, you know, with you guys and, and with you. Uh, I, I, just, I just have a lot of joy in my heart just even remember that. And I'll, I'll probably always associate you uh, with that. But... You know, um, beyond that, I just knew from talking with you, like, you know to have your fun, but when it comes to the things of God, you're going to do them right. If you're going to do them, you're going to do them right. And I just really respect that about you. I respect that you don't take things lightly, that, you know, you really want to honor God, uh, that you really wanted to make sure that you understood what you were walking into. And... You know, I, I just really respect that about you. I really respect that you 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 are sincerely seeking and wanting to make sure, hey, I don't want to be like many people, make emotional decisions, jump into things you wanted to think and through. And I, I just really appreciated that. And I, I just want to leave you with this. Um, this passage says, you know, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to the completion until the day of Christ Jesus. You know, when you get out of that water by faith you're leaving your sins behind and you get a brand new start on life it's a new beginning for you and you know by faith the holy spirit now as paris mentioned is going to live inside of you and you're going to be sin free but you know you're going to make mistakes and you're going to blow it and you're going to you know unfortunately we all do but I want you to remember this verse. He says that Christ Jesus will complete the work that he's going to do in you. And what I want you to remember is, is that when you mess up, you just got to remind yourself, Jesus is not done with me yet. There, my, my, I'm not complete yet. And it's going to take, you know, this walk with him for you to see the many victories but also those days that you got to get back up and say, okay, I, I, I got to, I got to learn from this. And we all go through twists and turns, but ultimately Jesus will complete the work that he's starting in you. And so I just, uh, I'm so appreciative to be here. I wish I could be there and, and give you a big hug and uh, talk about my Knicks and Jets right after you get out of the water. But, hey, man, you know, uh, I'll, I'll catch you next time. But, yeah, man, I, I totally appreciate you, and I, I look forward to seeing all that God is going to do in your life. So, hey, Thank you, Johnny. John, John, Johnny, I have a question. So when I mess up and my wife gets mad at me, I could just say, well, Jesus ain't done with me yet. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, I said no. that's what you could tell yourself. I'm not sure if that's going to work with wifey now. <laughs> Yo, just just want to want to say hello. How, how you doing? I've known Roberto 40 years. And the 40 years I've known Roberto, God has been working through this brother, Amen. whether he recognized it or not. He has always been the epitome of joy, of passion, of love. He he cares for people. He's he's just a spirit that 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 can't be contained. And I'm so happy for him in this moment, in his journey, in his quest to to be better, to get closer to the Lord. And I, I just wish you all the best, my brother. I wish I was there to give you a hug and come and 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 just talk nonsense with you like we always do. But I'm I'm here with you now, man, and 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 I'm so proud of you, man. I'm so proud of you. Nice. That's all. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet so everyone else can get a chance to talk. Thank you, Big Phil. Love. All right, brother. Hello, how you doing, everybody? Hello. Hello. 
How you doing? Calandra. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Oh, my God. I am so excited right now because <laughs> Roberto is retired because of me, because he <laughs> did the right thing. He is because of me, because he did the right thing. Um, he was the investigator at my um on my case uh for diversity and harassment at work. And every time I went down to that office, he would give me a scripture and I would leave there with so much peace. And throughout the process, the process was really, 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 really hard. And I and I felt safe. I felt yeah. like he was for me. But I said at the end of it, it's going to wind up being the same old thing. Um, he's, you know, he's not going to like sacrifice himself for me. He's going to have to go with the company. But lo and behold, he ruled in my favor. He did the right thing for me and someone else. And that's why he was forced to retire. He did what God called him to do. He was strategically ah! planted in that system and he made a difference. He did what God called him to do. So the scripture that have me um, that I would like to read in reference to him is um, from, let me just double check. Um, it's Haggai 2 and 9. And I'm coming from the King James Version because this is something I've always said to him. And give me one minute because there's different versions of it. Give me one minute. But I, my prayer for Roberto is, is that when he goes down into the water, that he come up with the indwelling and filling of the Holy Spirit as a gift from our father for him just um, doing the right thing, being being near at the right time, doing the hard thing, sacrificing himself, doing what the father has called him to do, although it affected him. So I ask that this scripture be the blessing, a blessing that he get and a gift of the indwelling and filling of the Holy Spirit when he come out the water. I love the scripture that the um, brother had read about um, the heavens opening up. I pray all of that for him because he didn't have to do, he he gives me faith in, in humanity, to be quite honest. So I, I was ready to drive all the way out there. He said, no, it's too far. But I would have came out there to be there. And I would like to visit, um, visit your church because you guys seem very amazing. And I'm just so happy that you guys is embracing him like this. I just totally love it. But the scripture that I want to read is the glory of this latter, latter house shall be greater than of the former, saith the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, saith the Lord of hosts. And that's my prayer for Roberto, that his latest shall be greater than his former, that God just blessed him exceedingly and abundantly above all that he can imagine. And I know for a fact that he's going to do great things. That's why you guys, when you guys met him, you guys heard it. You heard of him before you even met him because he is called. He is chosen and he is going to do great things. And I can see a lot of lives being transformed by him touching it because he has touched my life. He has transformed my life and he has changed my life. And anytime throughout this process, anything that I have experienced, any measure of harassment after the fact, I stood because, because Roberto stood for me. And so with that being said, I pray blessings over him and his family. And I pray that God just uh, accelerate you. And, and I, I, I pray that he fill you up with the word and equip you, give you divine protection, give you all that you need to go out because I know there's going to be a lot of souls being saved just because of you. So that's all I wanted to say.
Thank you. Uh, so I, w I was baptized in 1988 at Brooklyn Tech at the end of my junior year in high school. Mm -hmm. And um, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. I prayed for people at Brooklyn Tech. I just prayed and I prayed. And for a whole year that I was there, nobody got baptized, <laughs> right? Yeah. And I walked out of there and I felt like a failure. You know, I felt like, you know, God didn't answer my prayers, you know? Um, but I had taught so many people over that year, in my first year, that by the time I went to college, I already knew how to teach people the Bible. And then people just started, you know, being baptized. But today, wow. as you stand here, I feel like you're an answered prayer. You yeah. went to Brooklyn Tech. Johnny Rivera went to Brooklyn Tech. Tim <laughs> went to Brooklyn Tech. You know, I, and I've met other Hashim who did the yeah. um, did the communion for for the Black History Month mm. celebration. He went to Brooklyn Tech, and I've met other people over time who went to Brooklyn Tech. And guess what? God gets all the glory because I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> right? um, and so I just, I just <laughs> amen. Yeah. Um, but but since you, since, I mean, with the Black History Month celebration thing, and you came up to me afterwards, and I felt like we hit it off uh, there, and you said something that was interesting. You said um, you've been to a lot of DEI stuff, but you've never seen it done quite like this before. And I, you know, that that definitely encouraged uh, me. But we both know that DEI is on the attack right now, yes, it is. nationwide, right? And so I'm 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 going to say something that you know um, that you understand that there are forces that are happening all around in a bunch of different realms that this time is a very, very important time. And I believe that you've been called for a time such as this, Amen. right? Amen. Not just you, but your wife, your grandson, your family, yeah. the, the church, right? Like, like we we are moving in a different way in a different yep. spirit and God is calling us to something higher and better yes. and and it's awesome and it's um and it's being seen with people like you who are coming you know and I just want to say you know I've just been so when Paris was I don't know if I was the only one that he had to work stuff out with, right? but, 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 you know, I was just so glad that you, you called and we, we worked through some things together. We talked it through and we saw it was like, we just, it was like a, a misunderstanding that was worked out mm -hmm. and, and we became friends in that call. You're, I mean, my, bro you're my brother. You know, right. and so um, I'm just so blessed where we prayed together over yes, the phone we yes, were we you know and so i'm just so happy and i'm so glad that my wife could be here yes. uh as well um and you know I, i'm there was a scripture i was thinking of there's another scripture <laughs> uh, that i want to share instead mm -hmm. right because I, I i believe great things are coming but I believe that there's some fire that's going to come first, mm -hmm. right? That you're going to have to endure and work through. And after that, then things will be phenomenal. Mm -hmm. But I want to encourage you with, this is when Nebuchadnezzar threw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the, into the fire because they didn't want to follow what he said. It says, furious with rage, Nebuchadnezzar summoned Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Okay, let me go down a little bit further. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to him, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we're thrown into the blazing furnace, 
The God we serve is able to deliver us from it, and he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. But even if he does not, we want you to know, your majesty, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. That's all. Right? Yeah. And so they were determined that we are going to follow and we're going to serve God no matter what. That's right? right? And the no matter what's are going to come up mm -hmm. that are going to test your faith, mm -hmm. right? And our call is to follow God no matter what. Amen. You know? Amen. And so I'm so glad, man, that you're mm -hmm. making this commitment. It's, it, it started. This is a part of the journey, right? Yep. And, you know, and you're going to go all the way to the end, till death do us part, right? Because yes. a marriage, it's a lot that comes into this one time, right? right, right. right? And I'm, I'm just so grateful, man, to have you. I know you're going to make such a great impact. Mm -hmm. So blessed to meet your wife, your grandson. You know, God's going to do awesome things with you, man. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I thank you for your friendship and your brotherhood. Yes. God bless you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. Am I able to speak? Yes. So, hello. I am Roberto's daughter. Hi. Uh, nice, nice to meet everybody. Nice to meet you. I just wanted to speak on behalf of the family. Um, Dad, you know, we we love you. We want you to know that we're so proud of your commitment to God. Um, and you're, you know, you're not just walking around speaking the word, but you're showing it in action. Yeah. And um, I want you to know you're a light in many lives, that your work is not done yet. Um, that, that, you know, we love you and we're very happy that you found a church family that loves on you and uplifts you and supports you. And so um, I hope to meet you all very soon. And that's it. I don't want to hold anything up. So God bless you all. Thank you, Nicole. We love you. My grandson wants to say something. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, really. I'm going to keep it short. But, uh, Amen. Wow. Inspired me a lot. Um, you share wisdom with you. Even Nicole said, for uh, a lot of people, a lot of people left. Uh, it's very inspiring. Mm -hmm. Very prominent figure in me. Uh, you know, you're doing a lot for me. Mm -hmm. I just want you to know, you know. I look up to you a lot, you know. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Hey, oh, Josiah, I got that one. <laughs> this is overwhelming, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Love, brother. Uh, hello? Yes. Yes. Hi, um, sorry. I'm his granddaughter, Suheili. Um, my brother spoke, so I, I feel like to <laughs> speak. But um, she's important. Like Josiah said, um, you're very inspiring, and um, you know, I love you very much, like a father, and I thank you for everything you do for us, and I'm very proud of you and all your accomplishments, and you know, starting college and everything. I think of you a lot because I remember you used to always tell me, you know, go to college, go to school, you know, do what you got to do to win in life and to get where you want to get and to be successful. 
And, you know, I always think of you whenever, you know, I'm achieving something or, you know, I always think of you and Grandma Chris, you know, I love you both very much. And I thank you both for everything you do for us. And yeah, I love you and I'm proud of you. That's it. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Wow, strange Friday night. Yes. Anyone else on Zoom who would like to speak? <laughs> Anyone else here? Hello, how you doing? I'm Roberto Giri Jr. My son. Wow. Can you hear me? Wow. Hey. How's yes, everyone doing? Good, good. I'm, I'm, I'm a super speaker, you know that. Um, but I'm, I'm going to say, you know, it's it's um. It's good to see everyone sees what we see in my dad and what we know he is. Um, he's, he, and um, it, he's been, you know, not only my father, my brother, my my spiritual, you know, you know, we, we don't agree on certain things spiritually, but you know, at, at the end of the day, he's he, you know, he teaches me to love and to and to to follow the word of God and to, and I appreciate that and I follow it even even though I may go back and forth with you, you know, but I, I, at the end of the day. It means a lot to me and um, him and my grandmother and my mother and everybody, you know, they're very special and, you know, and he's, he's, he's brought so much. I just, I don't even know where to start, but I just want to say congratulations uh, um, in your journey. And, uh, you know, I, I, you know, you're, you're uh, the biggest role model we have. So we love you very much. You and my mom. So we love you guys. And, you know, thank, thank you for having me, um, you know, wit witness this. It's, it's very, you know, inspiring. Thank you. We love you, Bobby. Amen. Amen. The water's getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> Roberto Jr. <laughs> 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 okay, they got it. Good job. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick. Snatch the glasses off like Superman. <laughs> uh, stand next to me. All right. Um, oh my goodness, that's uh, this has been an, an exceptional one. <laughs> <laughs> With all the sharing, I, I um, yeah, this is this is one of a kind um, sharing and baptism. And honestly, I knew he was going to be something like this. <laughs> yeah. You are just an amazing, amazing person, man. Okay. You know, when we started studying the Bible, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh -oh. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> you know, I, I said, typically when I'm studying the Bible with people, that's how I was taught. Don't overwhelm them. Keep it short, Goya. Make it one hour. <laughs> yes. So at the beginning, I said, guys, it's going to be, you know, we'll start now in another hour and then we'll pick up from here. 45 minutes, we haven't started <laughs> because there's so much that we we're talking about. It was a lot of fun. And then I will, you know, I go back to my walk mode and say, guys, let's, let's, let's That's come cool, back. Yeah. Let's. That's cool. And then we could be on one scripture for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> but it was good because Roberta just had, he had questions wow. yeah. really great questions and we were all just learning mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. at some point it was um it, it was such a great exper experience um send the brother scriptures say hey these are the scriptures we'll be looking at tomorrow when my brother came in i'm like whoa did i make a mistake here yeah. i've done the thesis on every <laughs> Questions. I'm like, wow. All yes, right, let's yes, do sir. this. But he was, he, he was just such a, a really special time, mm -hmm. just being in the world with you, yes. just getting to know you. Mm -hmm. I, honestly, I, I, you are just one of a kind. Yeah. Came into service. You were heading out. I grabbed you. I'm like, <laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. I because I was having a. And a, an important conversation, but I'm keeping an eye on you. <laughs> I'm thinking, thinking it's probably from one of our other churches mm -hmm. yeah. or something, but I want to find out anyway. So as you were leaving, I stopped my conversation, grabbed you, 
And honestly, I'm thinking, whoa, you were a little too enthusiastic there, Koya. <laughs> be like, what's going on? But no, wow. this dude is like, hey, yeah. I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. He's ready to talk to me. Had a good conversation right here and then. The next Sunday, you came to me after service. You were like, how do I give? How do I give? contribution yeah. how do i how do i give yeah, to the work hi welcome i'm like whoa <laughs> this is this is really really inspiring and it's just been like that all through uh with you one thing after the mm -hmm. other you have just been a great example i've mm -hmm. told you many times you inspire me you call me higher yeah, it's um Amen. yeah it's just been just been a so wonderful the way you talk about you talk about your wife you talk about your grandchild mm -hmm. you're a family man yeah, definitely. and i yeah. love that because i love being a family man myself I'm like yeah i like <laughs> this guy uh, there's just so much about you that that inspires me um and one scripture that comes to mind is in um john john 1 47 um Jesus saw Nathaniel approaching. That's when he has seen him under the fig tree. Yeah. And he said, here truly, I'm not wearing my glasses, but I think I know. <laughs> I, know I should know the scripture by heart, right? You got it, Corey. You got here it. truly is an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. Mm. 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 Wow, Honestly, yep. from day one, yep. he was just like, who is this dude? Straight up. You were just like, hey, Amen. This is me right, from day one. <laughs> that just does really, really inspired me. Mm -hmm. And you, you, you've been the same with everybody. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you, you, mm -hmm. I love you very much, man. Mm -hmm. you too, really, man. really do. There we go. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna um you know ask you a few questions, but I do want to share a little mm -hmm. bit. Like I know I came into the studies a tad bit, you know, later or whatever. But the thing is, it wasn't um, later. It was you're right, right. You were there. I was there one. since the beginning, for sure. For sure. Exactly. No, no, but I. I mean, I think I missed one or two. I'm, I think I made one or two. You were there for the good one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the contentiousness. <laughs> I saw the, the bumping of heads. But the thing that I love about you since day one is your pursuit for God mm -hmm. and your pursuit Very for the good. truth. Very right? good. True. You're, you're the type of person who's not trying to get, you know, put into something that's a, a man-made endeavor. Yep. You've been in pursuit of something that's a God-driven mm -hmm. thing, Amen. right? And I can see just by everything that everyone's been sharing mm -hmm. that God's been with you for a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's been probing you, bringing you back. Mm -hmm. um, you shared some mm -hmm. stories with me. I'm like, wow, that is a God thing. Mm -hmm. right? Right, right and even the things that your your family sharing, your friends are sharing, your coworkers sharing, you've been a paradigm shifting person in people's lives mm -hmm. and i'm marked by assurance that after today you're going to mm -hmm. continue to do that mm -hmm. yes. but with the spirit inside of you mm -hmm. doing bigger things right and i'm mm -hmm. excited i'm excited Amen. the last thing i'll share that that was crazy i came home after i met you um, my wife was like hey listen there's this guy roberto he wants to be in the children's ministry I, you know is he from our church and i was like oh you're so eager you yeah. wanted to, when there was a call out for the children's ministry yeah. to come and serve, yeah. you were so, so quick to come. You're like, Hey, listen, how can I get it? How can I be involved? Take no people, right? It exudes the type of heart that you have, just like Tara said, you know. You're the person who, who comes in there and you love others, mm -hmm. and the love that you have for others is genuine, it's not yeah. fake. And I love that about you. I can't wait. I'm, I mean, we're going to be on a new journey together. And this is going to be awesome. I love you, man. I like you. Oh, my God.
You know, I was gonna um <laughs> robotic oh, yeah. to me. What is group me? <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> I want to be a part of that. <laughs> so I play I played a joke in my head. I will say you'll now be added to the group oh, me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there's something more important than that. So I'll let I'll let you do that. 